The symposium served as a vital platform to discuss and promote actions for land restoration, combat desertification, and enhance droughts resilience. By bringing together stakeholders from various sectors, it fostered collaboration and knowledge sharing, recognizing their commitment to environmental issues. The significance of the theme land restoration, desertification, and drought resilience was emphasized, highlighting that nearly half of the world's land is degraded and that droughts are becoming more severe and frequent. Representatives from USAID, the EU, and Deputy Vice Chancellor of the University of Ceylon also stressed on the importance of integrating environmental engineering and effective policy frameworks to mitigate the adverse effects of human activity activities on the environment. Country representative Nunido Mayato Suari said there has been a crucial juncture in addressing land degradation and the multifaceted impacts of desertification, including water quality deterioration and biodiversity loss. The task of land degradation should not be singled out as the responsibility of a single entity or a single government entity, which is the EPA. It demands the collaboration of all of us, whether this is a government, whether this is an SME, a community, or as an individual. Executive Chairman of the Environment Protection Agency, Dr. Awaka Masakoi, highlighted strides made by the agency to address climate change, including national dialogue on plastic waste and the launch of innovation challenges to foster climate resilience and sustainable practices. What we have done this year, uh, firstly, we have curated an eco tour for schools. Uh, we expect about 10 schools in the Western area to attend that. Uh, this is going to be a very captivating journey uh, through various things, various topics that will be covered by uh, facilitators from the agency, but also people we are inviting from other agencies. Uh, we are also organizing a debate uh, for schools that we expect to keep our communities on the edge and present an opportunity for uh, just testing the understandings young people have. Panel discussions focus on corporate responsibility in the ecosystem restoration, policy frameworks on land restoration and desertification control, reversing desertification through innovation and best practices, the dangers of human activities, deforestation, unsustainable farming and industrial pollution were highlighted as primary contributors to environmental degradation. The symposium concluded with a pledge to support sustainable land management practices and build resilience against climate change. SLBC News. Esther Sako reporting.